Hi everyone, my name's Rebecca Matveyeva and I'm from 5starenglish.net and I'm here to give you a quick tutorial with four idioms about annoyance. Idiom number one is to be like a bear with a sore head. So this means that you're in a very bad mood, basically. You can imagine a bear at any time is quite a dangerous situation. One with a sore head is especially dangerous. Okay, so a poor bear with a headache, keep away. And here is an example sentence to use that idiom. The team missed their sales target and the boss was like a bear with a sore head this morning. You can imagine this angry boss because his team haven't met his standards. Okay, let's help you visualize. Here is a bear with a sore head. Okay, doesn't look threatening, doesn't look dangerous, but still he's in a bad mood. He's got a sore head. Okay, so that's idiom number one. Idiom number two, to bite someone's head off. Okay, so if you do this, you speak to someone angrily and abruptly. So yes, no, what do you want? Why? Okay, you're biting someone's head off if you speak to them like that. Okay, so let's give you an example sentence. Oh, I only asked if she wanted a cup of tea and she bit my head off. Okay, so perfectly reasonable. Do you want a cup of tea? And bang, why? What do you want? Why are you in here? Okay, you're biting someone's head off. Let's help you visualize. Here she is asking the question and then oh, the expression changes and she bites the head off of the colleague. Poor woman. Idiom number three, to be doing someone's head in. Again, the head features in these idioms about annoyance. Okay, so try and remember that. To be doing someone's head in. Okay, notice um, this is to be so annoyed that your head is collapsing. Okay, so doing someone's head in, it means that you are making their head collapse. And see that this is in the continuous form, to be doing someone's head in. Okay, ing. Something is slowly making you go mad. It's a process. Okay, so let's look at that in an example. Next door's dog won't stop barking and it's doing my head in. You can imagine constantly, woof, 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 coming from your next door neighbours. Here, we'll help you visualise. Okay, so the dog is barking. This poor guy, he's getting annoyed. It's doing his head in. The dog is doing his head in. And number four, your final idiom for today, to be driving someone up the wall. So yet again, this is in the continuous form, to be driving, it's a process. You're slowly making someone go mad if you're driving them up the wall. So my colleague keeps talking while I'm trying to write my report and they're driving me up the wall. You can imagine how annoying that would be. So here he is, he's trying to write his report on the right. So the colleague is talking and talking and then He's getting annoyed. The car appears. The colleague is driving him up the wall. So let's look at those four idioms one more time. Number one, to be like a bear with a sore head. Number two, to bite someone's head off. Number three, to be doing someone's head in. And number four, to be driving someone up the wall. So think about those idioms. Think of them in your own situations as well. So who do you know is like a bear with a sore head? Okay, um, I know I'm like a bear with a sore head in the morning, usually. Um, was there a time that you bit someone's head off? Or maybe someone bit your head off? What happened? Why? Um, what does your head in or what drives you up the wall? Think about something that annoys you, that or is annoying you at the moment and talk about it. Think about it. Is it doing your head in? Is it driving you up the wall? Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. But in any case, if you have any suggestions, questions or comments, please just let me know. You can find me on my website, which is fivestarenglish.net, 
or you can join me on Facebook or contact you wherever you prefer or you can just leave me a comment on YouTube and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for your time and all the best with your English studies. Bye.